Welcome back, you guys, to episode 9 of Afterlife SP. If you guys do enjoy, then please make sure to smash that like button and make sure to comment down below what you guys think of this episode. But, anyways, let's start this video off. As you guys may have recalled, you know, in the last episode, I wanted to start a prank war. And it ended up somebody actually retaliated, or at least there is a prank in the mist. So I hopped on the server last night, which was the third, and it just so happened to be my house was filled with water. I mean, I already know who did it because he told me he was going to prank someone, and he told me to get on the server. So, you know, I hopped on the server and, you know, went to check, like, you know, who he pranked, and it just so happened to be me. So, you know, it was a bit awkward, but the book is Got Spare Water, and it is by Gaming Because. What's up guys, it's Gaming Because or Austin here, haha, -ha, you see what I did there? I made fun of your intro lol, well actually I don't start my intros off like that for this, for this series and plus I basically cut off my um, channel name so I just say, what's up guys, it's Jay here once again bringing you guys another episode of Afterlife SMP, that's what I do now, thank you very much, catch up mate. Anyways, I take pandas as being in the bear family so bear like fish and when you think of fish you think of water don't you I decided to fill your house with water so you can get your fair share of fish I hate that face GB PS your horse your black okay first off you misspelled horse but you said your black cows died in the making of this I will repay you sorry so basically that's what the eight diamonds were for well actually it was nine I wanted 10, but he wouldn't give me that, but yeah, my horse died in the process of him doing it. He told me what happened. He was taking his, taking my horse out of the house. I suppose he made, he allowed the horse to take wall damage or well, suffocation and basically he dug a hole for it and he dug the hole and he hit the horse by accident and that somehow killed the horse. So, I mean, I guess it's suffocating the wall, but I mean, or well, suffocated a little bit and then it allowed it to be one shot, but Ah, uh, the fun. How am I going to do this? I really don't know. Okay, you guys, we're back from cleaning up Austin's prank and doing etc. But it's actually been quite a while since I cleaned up his prank. I'm sorry that you guys were not able to see my struggle, my pain, my agony when I was trying to clean that prank up because it was a horrible thing. Having the use sand, trying to break each source block every single time. Oh, that was the struggle. You guys cannot believe it. Austin is a horrible person for that. I'm just kidding, though. But, like, it's been a quite a while since I've actually recorded, like, anything in general. Like, you guys can see that my last video was Monstrosity, which was four, five, six days ago for you guys by the time you're seeing this. And then by the time you guys are seeing this now, you guys may be seeing a video that's asking you guys for Q&A questions. So, like, in celebration of 1.5k subs... If you guys can, then please make sure to comment on that video with any question that you guys have. I'll be answering anything. Um, it may not be se like in the most serious of manner or, you know, might not. It might be. I don't know. It all depends on the question that you ask. But you guys should check that video out. Link in the description below. And then it's at the end of this video. So you guys can be expecting that. But like, more on the topic of why I've really recorded on the server, so to say. Um... It's been one of those times of, it's one of those times of the year again where I'm kind of like, not proactive for Minecraft. I mean, like I've, I've, I guess I've gained it back now to where I'm interested in it again. But like, I started playing a tiny bit of World of Warcraft, which is one of my old school games, as I can say, because I played that basically since my brother started playing and that, and he got it basically the year it came out. But like. I've been kind of peeking at it once in a while, but like, I'm not getting back into it, but it was just more of, you know, something to do, but like, it's because I'm kind of getting bored of Minecraft, like, I don't know, I feel like I need something different to do besides an SMP as my only series and a CTM map, like, I feel like I want something different, but like, at the same time, like, I can't really think of anything different to, like, you know, help endorse the idea of doing something new, different, extravagant. Like, I've been looking at Factions ID, like, you know, Faction series, but, like, I don't know if I want to, you know, put a whole lot of time and effort into a Faction series when I'm trying to do that for Afterlife. Even though I've been kind of slacking on that, I mean, I've, I've been on the server still here and there, just not as, like, how many, like, as much hours that I used to be putting in 
daily, I suppose. I mean, I've been slowly minimizing me minimizing the amount of hours that I used to put on the server. I mean, I still play, but just not quite as much, which is a disappointment in my opinion. But I guess that's because we need more new faces. That way we can get things all going, I guess, at a faster rate, so to say. I mean, I guess that's probably what I'm trying to think of. But, like, one of the other big cool things I guess I have to talk about while I'm doing this, I'm currently gathering hardened clay just for, you know, prank ID, like, for a prank and just for builds right now. So, like, we're pretty good right now, you guys. I'll, I'll tell you guys what, or well, I guess you guys can see that prank, not in this episode, but, you know, in a future episode. But, like, one of the cool things that kind of gave me motivation back is um, being, I guess, a full screener of the week, as I would, I guess I would call it. So, I was at, I guess I'll give you guys the full rundown of what happened. I thought it was an interesting story to tell. So, I'm at school. It's 7th period. You know, I'm browsing. You know, we just got done in AP World. I'm, we're done taking notes, so, you know, I can do whatever I want now. Because, you know, it's my last class, so, like, I can do whatever I want. I can slack off, you know, browse the Twitter, you know, Facebook, anything. So, I thought, you know, that would be perfect, so I started browsing Twitter. I have a notification it says congratulations on being like the full screener of the week and I was like what is this what is this guy talking about that's a bit absurd I was like why would they choose me of all things so I didn't decide to check my email right then and there because well I don't know I feel like my school blocks e oh, well I guess I don't really like the Gmail app on my phone so it's a bit confusing in my opinion I mean I'd rather just do it at home so I decided to wait off and went home, um, did my usual browse YouTube as soon as I got home. Like, you know, looked at my channel, see how many more views I got since that morning. Because that's usually what I do because it's interesting to see how many views a video got. Like, I would look at the monstrosity video and the afterlife video. But I noticed the monstrosity video was doing very good for some strange reason. Um... I believe that morning it had like 30 or 20 or 40 views and like all of a sudden it had 120 which is more than I guess the average video for me I guess I would assume based off how my channel's been doing for the past week so I guess it's kind of my new um, daily amount of views so I was like that's a bit odd and then my sub count it was in the 14 upper 1480s or upper 80s for 1400 so I was like that is fishy I had 1470 something this morning um, well, let's investigate so I finally decided to check my email after done be or done being browsing or done browsing around YouTube and I decided to check my email I see a bunch of notifications that you know people subscribed um, I had that one follower for follower notification um, What else and then like college crap, you know, oh you should go to my college yada yada all that crap So I was like yeah Marcus Reed because I mean it's all just crap in my opinion because I mean they're not colleges that I'm interested in but so I you know overlooked them and I saw this full screen email you know, it's talking about like a winner for something. I mean, earlier this week they were talking about it in some shape or form, but like I really didn't understand what it was. And I decided to read it. And I guess I'll put a picture up for you guys now, or well, I guess I can show you guys the picture I had I had on Twitter, which is basically what I was going to look at. I need to see for myself. And boom, you can see like it shows the full screen symbol and it says go. And it says the winner is and then it shows my channel banner, or I guess it's my Twitter ban banner. It probably is. Yeah, that's my Twitter banner. And then it says my channel name, and it says congratulations. Jay has been creating Minecraft and other gaming videos since May of 2013. And updates every week with cool new content. Um, I believe the title of the email was like a Minecraft takeover. And I was very surprised. So this was for channels of smaller sizes. Uh, from what I recall, they used to do this for bigger channels, but I guess full screen, their new thing is more for smaller channels, and that was pretty nice to see. That kind of gave me more motivation to continue doing Minecraft more than what I was doing. 
I mean, I've been quite deterred from certain things and my frames are quite dead. So I'll close out TweetDeck because that's probably what is lagging it. Yeah. Generally what it is. But like, I don't know, that made me feel good being recognized as that. And, you know, seeing people comment like saying, you know, they want to collab with me because of what they saw. Or, you know, gaining recognition for that. Because generally, when they did this, they chose, you know, their bloggers, or either they chose people with a higher amount of subs. Because full screen, in my opinion, is more of known as a vlogging network, because they contain the top tier dogs for vlogging. Um, you guys can investigate that, and you'll notice, like, the full screen Twitter, you know, basically tweets out about their vloggers, you know, them on the red carpet, and all that type of stuff. So, like, I don't know, I was surprised. I was one shocked person. My dad was too because I forwarded that email right away to him. You know, he had questions about it and etc. I don't know. Just a story that I thought I could tell you guys. Because that made my day, weekend, I guess, a lot more. I don't know. Just made me feel better inside. Um, I wanted to do something cool for this episode. I wanted to build a shop. As there are a lot of things happening at spawn lately, but like or well, I, I guess I feel like I need to add something to spawn and I mean um, KS has been doing a lot of building for his new shop uh, I don't want to show that off for you guys yet because KS is releasing his video of him building his shop on Wednesday Well, I guess I can technically do that He's going to be releasing his episode before me because I'm releasing this on Wednesday recording on Monday but he's doing it like I don't want to show off his builds too early and too quickly. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, what else do you have to talk about? Um, I guess I can give you. Why am I lagging? What are you doing? Game, fix yourself. But one thing that you guys should do is make sure the subscribe to the afterlife hub channel um follow it on twitter follow all the members like on twitter their channels do all that type of stuff because there are going to be some few updates that you guys are going to be enjoying from afterlife pretty soon um there may be a cool event for you guys hit hit wink wink maybe you should check it out you know it's about really which is about to be coming out soon in my opinion or well i believe from what i have you know thought out in my head it's going to be happening soon um there's going to be cool stuff happening with the afterlife channel real soon so you guys should get hyped for that um my rebranding for my channel as in my banner should be coming in like i guess at most a two weeks afterlife should be receiving the branding around the same time too um same time too man i can't talk today so i mean i've been waiting quite a while for that which you know i hope it's actually good in the end i mean i'm i'm betting it probably is but like it's taking about a month is just to get it which is a bit annoying but oh well oh well so i'll see you guys back at spawn or well i'm gonna do a bit more mining here that way i can kind of bulk up on the amount of clay and so yeah i'll show you guys spawn in a little bit see ya Okay, you guys, we're back from the nether. Um, I just got a bit of cocoa beans. That way we can uh, make some colored hardened clay, the brown one. So let's see what we have here. Well, I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit what we have, but like I'm going to put a bit of things away. But we have a gift from Toxic. We all know who it is, Toxic. So in one of my videos, I mentioned how I want diamond horse armor. Or I was going to mention like I wanted to get it from Toxic. Like, you know, negotiate with a deal with him. So, he gave us some diamond horse armor, which is pretty good. I think my voice just cracked right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't kill me. But, so that's pretty nice. We do control all the diamond horse armor on the server now, I believe so. We have two right there, and then we have one in here. So, we have three in total now. We're going to be selling all this horse material stuff right here so we're basically dominating this we need more name tags though so we may have to do a bit of fishing for that but like we're currently looking pretty good right now 
Toxic does have one diamond horse armor, and then a few other members has, you know, the other types of horse armor. So, either way, we're still in pretty much control. We have the most saddles on the server. We have pretty much anything that anybody would want to possess. So, I think we're pretty much in control on things. So, I guess I'll show you guys what there is. So, I don't believe you guys actually got to see the got to see this yet but like if you guys check out the other afterlife members um there is a thing called the community chest now where basically you can oh well i guess i'll re read it welcome to the community chest feel free to donate your unwanted items also feel free to take any you need so basically it's where you kind of give and take do whatever you feel like i guess you can give or just take whatever you feel like so i basically put away a bunch of stuff that I didn't need I mean I don't believe a lot of people have been using this but like I basically put a bunch of that stuff in there from one day and I'll probably be putting more stuff in here and try to help organize this in a better fashion that way you know you don't come and look over here and like oh I wonder if anybody left some dirt oh they did this is from rectangle that's how I know but like I think it needs to be more organized that way I don't let the look through um, three, four, seven, eleven, eleven times four, you yeah, know, okay, eleven times four, let's see, what do we have there, forty-four, so that's forty-four chests just down here, and then there's another floor, pretty sure it's the same thing, so like, that's 88 right there, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to waste their time trying to look at that, so I'll probably help organize that a bit more in a bit. Oh, I really wish I could just like cheat the change of time where I could have just simply went to bed But like now nah, I'm too lazy for that. So the next or I guess the biggest addition to the server is um, Chaos's shop over here. He is building a I guess a bookshop You know, I was about to call it a library, but like it's not a library. It's a bookshop He's going to be selling a bunch of cool items in here, which is going to be great I mean he's going to be selling enchanted books and I can't wait for that because I need enchantments. Like, I mean, I have fixed everything to the max. I really needed a breaking on that, but, like, still I had to. But, like, I'll be using this place a bunch. He'll be milking money for days out of me. But then again, I have a bunch of diamonds to blow. But, I mean, his build is currently looking nice. He spent over four hours on it, I believe, which is pretty insane. But, I mean, his build does look pretty nice, but... Rectangle did take this down. I don't remember if you guys ever got the saw that see that I can't even speak English correctly But like he did take this down um, He doesn't really know what he wants to do with his builds all together anymore Like he doesn't really know how to finish his rectangle ink build right here. So that is very Questionable of what he's going to do But like I do have the horse shop planned in mind where I'm going to be selling horse items and etc So that should be something cool and fun to see soon um, I'm pretty sure in the next episode I'm going to have everything ready to build that thing. Okay, as I was saying before the rain lagged me out, there hasn't been really much new builds on the residential area. I mean, I guess you can see Kibbits and the captain's little Tony Stark house over there with the prime real estate. But, like, there hasn't been, I guess, anything else. I mean, we did, you know, have the little tornado prank, which... Snow said she was basically going to be cre uh, keeping that. I was about to say creeping that because I see the creeper. But, like, I think me and Austin may fix that because Austin does not like the sight of a tornado in front. But then Toxic did claim this area over here, which he said, This is yo boys, no touchy. You know, I really said wanted to say no touchy my booty. But besides that, um, we had one thing that popped up in the, uh, I guess, farm district area, whatever you want to call it. Which is from the KS dude, which is pretty cool. I mean, we do have the skeleton farm over there, but not many people have used it. Semi-automatic wheat, carrot, and potato farm made by KS. So basically what you do is you pull this lever up, water starts flowing down, and all the stuff starts flowing down to this and the hoppers, and then it goes to the middle chest, and boom. So like, he, he has this for us, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty nice of him, but I mean, I think I'm gonna still stick, you know, being a carnivore. Steak all the way, mate. Steak RL too. Come on now. Oh, that juicy. You know, just imagine steak. Like, you know, it starts getting your saliva going. But, like, besides that, you guys, I'm pretty sure that's it. I can show you guys, like, there's nothing else that I believe I can show you guys. 
Um, I've basically shown you guys everything on the server. I mean, there's going to be a lot more happening. As I said, there's going to be new people joining soon, hopefully. I mean, I did give you guys the hint, hint, wink, wink, you know, telling you guys to follow Afterlife SMP on Twitter, you know, me on Twitter, all the Afterlife members on Twitter. You know, I said make sure to follow their channels, as in subscribe and subscribe to the Afterlife channel. I mean, I'm trying to give you guys a hint here, and I'm like, you guys aren't taking it, so I'm like, I don't know what you guys are doing. But, like, that's basically all I have to tell you guys right now. So, like, if you guys do enjoy them, please make sure you like, comment down below what you guys think of things. What should I do on the server? Anything that comes to your mind. Do whatever you feel like is best. And make sure to check out the last video, which is in celebration of 1,500 subs. I can't thank you guys more than enough for that. I never thought I would reach it that far because, you know, when I was a wee baby channel, I never thought. I never thought I've had probably a bunch more channels than you. And thank you again, Toxic. I mean, I don't think I've really made it that sincere when I got that. But, like, thank you. Because now it's going to make the horse shop way better. Now I'm, now I'm going to have to get you a gift. Oh, I got an idea now. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. See ya. Bye-bye.